Hi Earthy people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gerard, Witch of Earth's Curious Goods, and today I decided that I'm going to show you how to do an anti-anxiety spell. Before we begin, I want to put a disclaimer in there, okay? This spell is not to give medical professional advice, okay? You, you always want to listen to the medical professionals, okay? They have gone to school they know more about anxiety than i will ever know i'm just sharing an actual spell that i use when it's um when i have anxiety in tandem with the medical professionals okay so this may help you um as it helps me okay um we're going to be using a little bit of magic and a little bit of aromatherapy um if you don't know about aromatherapy i'll uh, post a link down below um about aromatherapy um so i'll source um some of the information on the essential oils that we're using um if you also want to know you know why i'm using it and what they say about it um of course they've done a lot more research than i could ever do again this is not to replace medical professional advice okay for those that um, are seeing medical help and seeing professionals um you always want to listen to their advice this helps in tandem just like all magic it helps work with your life okay so you always want to listen to the your healthcare provider your the medical professionals um in the field um so if you're not sure if these essential oils will affect you in a certain way or if you're not too sure about things you always want to discuss that with them now that we've got that out of the way without further ado let's begin so we're going to need a few things you guys know how i love a good jar you're going to need a candle you're gonna need a cotton ball or um, something like a cotton pad. This is a cotton pad that like, you know, you use for like makeup removing and so forth. That's what I like to use. You're gonna need a lighter. You're gonna need eucalyptus essential oil, orange essential oil, and lavender essential oil, okay? Now, the reason why we're using orange essential oil is orange is known to be very uplifting and research has shown that it also helps with anxiety. So of course we're going to be using that. We're going to use eucalyptus. It also has a very stress relieving effect. So with anxiety, that could also be a thing, right? So we want to add that to the spell. Lavender, very calming. It also helps um, with stress levels. Um, it also um, has been researched to, um, you know, help with anxiety. And once again, I'm going to cite all the sources down below um, in the links below. So if you do want to take a look at it, by all means, please do. Oh, and also um, what I like to do is a rosemary spray. I like to add that to my spell. Rosemary is uh, very good for the mentality. Magically, it's, it's associated with thought. Um, helping with memory. Um, so yes, we're going to be using that. So super simple. I like to always start. I put my sprig of rosemary into my jar. If you have lots of sprigs, you, if you have lavender buds too, you can also add that to it. Um, I am just going to do it, you know, with less materials. I feel like um, it's a lot easier for a lot of witches and a lot of spiritualists if there's not as many materials. So then now you're just going to take your eucalyptus essential oil and you're going to go ahead and put some onto your cotton ball, okay? Now you can use multiple cotton balls. I'm just using one. Um, I typically only use one because I like mixing it. Um, but yes, I'm putting some on there. This is going to be the orange essential oil and lavender essential oil. Good combo, okay? You're just gonna throw that into the jar. You're gonna seal it up. Okay. You're gonna take your candle. You're going to adhere it to the top of the jar. So I'm gonna drip a little bit of wax onto the top of the jar. Now you can also use, um, I would recommend if you can get your hands on like birthday candles, if you can get yellow birthday candles, orange works well, also white works well. Um, but we're using yellow because yellow is very uplifting, right? We want our anxiety to go away. We don't want to have that feeling of dread, right? We want that 
inspiring feeling, that happy feeling. We want that anxiety to be peaceful and to go away. And yellow is associated with happiness, with light, with refreshing and, and, and um, inspiration. Um, so just think of the sun, right? It's just letting the sun beam onto your skin, okay? Now, you are going to let this candle completely burn down, okay? So um, you can do it all in one sitting, but you will not open the jar. That's the key. Do not open the jar, okay? You're letting all that essential oil, that aroma just stew into there, um, letting the cotton ball, let all the scents um, kind of combine into one. And you're just going to let this candle burn completely down, okay? Now, the key to this is before you open this jar, we're going to need a do we're going to need to do a few things. So you've already let the candle burn down. You've got your jar now, but I told you, don't open it. It has to a, a day has to go by. At least twenty four hours has to go by before we can open this. Okay. Before then, we need to prepare before we open it. Do not open it. Okay. It's super important. Don't open it until you have taken a shower, a nice warm shower. You are going to either take a bath as well or just one or the other, but a bath or water. You need water to refresh your energy, refresh your body, refresh the skin, let everything just drain all out of you, clear all your thoughts as you're in that shower, as you are in that bath, see everything just melting away from you, okay? Then when you get back to, and I'm gonna blow this out because I'm not gonna wait for all of this to burn down. We're going to just pretend that the candle already burned down. So we're going to take away the candle. It already melted. It's all gone. So we're going to pretend that the wax is all burnt down and everything. You are going to take your jar. You're going to hold it into your hand. And you're just going to visualize yourself. See all that anxiety, all of that trauma. See all of the troubles. See all of the issues that you have. Okay, and now you're just going to imagine a door, okay? With that door, you know that on the other side of that door is just nothing but happiness. You're going to open that door and you're going to see yourself walk through that door, okay? As you walk through that door, you know that you're leaving your anxiety behind, okay? You're going to imagine yourself turning around and closing that door leaving all of the troubles and anxiety on the other side of that door. Your anxiety cannot follow you through that door, okay? You are a whole another person. You feel renewed. You feel refreshed, okay? Now you're going to open your jar and you're just going to smell it. <sighs> and again. <sighs> And one more time. <sighs> and close your jar. And you're going to say this spell. Anxiety no more, I free myself, I walk through the door. Anxiety no more, I free myself, I walk through the door. Anxiety no more, I free myself, I walk through the door. That's it. So now you're just going to keep the jar handy. Um, and any time that you have that feeling of anxiety, because of course it's a process, right? Life happens. Sometimes life produces those in you. It's okay, but we just want to make it a lot bearable, a little happier, right? So each time that you have that sense of anxiety, you're just going to repeat that, right? You're just going to open your jar. You're going to take those three whiffs. <sighs> And you're going to say that spell again, okay? So over time, you'll notice that your anxiety is going to lessen. If not, go away, right? So just use that in tandem with the medical professionals, with your healthcare provider's advice, okay? You always want to use um, whatever they're telling you to do. You want to do whatever they are telling you to do. You're just going to use a spell in tandem with that um, to work with the work that you're already doing. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's spell. If you're new around here, I hope you subscribe if you do like this content. 
Um, and I hope that this spell helps you in your journey of having no anxiety to little anxiety, right? It's one step at a time. So try it out. I hope it works for you just as well as it works for me. As always, stay earthy, stay magical, and don't forget, love yourself and others. Bye for now.